Okay, so tonight we're going to demonstrate how to get the scope presets back if you lose them. First of all, if you're using the scope multimeter in the lab scope and you save uh, a recording of your presets, so I've loaded a four channel lab scope and I save the configuration. If I save it to anything other than the scope preset folder, you notice up in the top bar here we're in computer local disk c user shop stream user my documents shop stream scope multimeter data folder and scope presets if i save it in any other folder than the scope preset folder then i'm going to lose that link so i'll show you what that what happens here here's the scope multimeter so i picked i've made subfolders because i've got so many presets uh, let's say i save it into the i'm working on an alternator i save it in there and I'm just going to call it temp. I've already got one in here. I'm going to call it temp and save. And it, it replaces it. Now we're going to back out of here and go back to the lab scope and load the presets. Notice that the only preset there is the temp preset that I just saved because it's by default going back to the last saved folder. So how do we get it back? The only way I've found to get it back is to load a lab scope, any lab scope, doesn't matter. Click on File, Save Configuration, and it goes back to that default. Click on Scope Multimeter. There's your list of files in the Scope Multimeter data folder. Click on Scope Preset, or double click it. And again, call it Temp, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. I probably have one in here called Temp. Yes, I do. So I'm just going to write over that one. And again, don't bother putting a description in here because you'll never get to see this again. And say OK. Now when we power off the lab scope and go back, back a couple times and look at scope presets, there's a list of all the presets. Most of these I've created. Some of them are migrated from older versions of the, the Varus. Uh, I need to go through these and, and actually sort them out because there's a lot of them I'm not going to use again. But it's nice to have the, that capability. It would be really nice if Snap One would allow us to categorize these or make subfolders in here. I tried creating a subfolder in the preset folder, but it doesn't show up in here. You know, I put it in scope presets. I created a test folder in the scope preset folder, and it doesn't show up. So there's no point creating subfolders in there because they won't show up. Anyways, if you're listening, Snap One, it'd be really cool if we could organize those presets better and have more details and get back the details that we lost back in 10.2 I think it was 2010 but I digress hope that helps somebody